Yophalim Jubilees 28. And he went on his journey and came to the land of the east, to Levan, the brother of Rivka. And he was with him and served him for Rachel, his daughter, one week. And in the first year of the third week, he said unto him, Give me my woman, for whom I have served you seven years. And Lavan said unto Yaakov, I will give you your woman. And Lavan made a feast and took Leah, his elder daughter, and gave her to Yaakov as a woman, and gave her Zilpah, his handmaid, for a handmaid. And Yaakov did not know, for he thought that she was Rachel. And he went in unto her, and behold, she was Leah. And Yaakov was angry with Levan, and said unto him, Why have you dealt thus with me? Did not I serve you for Rachel, and not for Leah? Why have you wronged me? Take your daughter, and I will go, for you have done evil to me. For Yaakov loved Rachel more than Leah, for Leah's eyes were weak, but her form was very handsome. But Rachel had beautiful eyes and a beautiful and very handsome form. And Levan said to Yaakov, It is not so done in our country to give the younger before the elder. And it is not right to do this, for thus it is ordained and written in the heavenly tablets that no one should give his younger daughter before the elder, but the elder. One gives first and after her the younger, and the man who does so, they set down guilt against him in heaven. And none is righteous that does this thing, for this deed is evil before Yahuwah. And command you the children of Yashadael that they, that they do not this thing. Let them neither take nor give the younger before they have given the elder, for it is very wicked. And Lavan said to Yaakov, Let the seven days of the feast of this one pass by, and I shall give you, Rachel, that you may serve me another seven years, that you may pasture my sheep as you did in the former week. And on the day when the seven days of the feast of Leah had passed, Lavan gave Rachel to Yaakov, that he might serve him another seven years, and he gave to Rachel Bilhah, the sister of Zilpah, as a handmaid. And he served yet other seven years for Rachel, for Leah had been given to him for nothing. And Yahuwah opened the womb of Leah, and she conceived and bore Yaakov a son. And he called his name Reuven on the fourteenth day of the ninth month, in the first year of the third week. But the womb of Rachel was closed, for Yahuwah saw that Leah was hated and Rachel loved. And again Yaakov went in unto Leah, and she conceived, and bore Yaakov a second son. And he called his name Shimon. On the twenty-first of the tenth month, and in the third year of this week. And again Yaakov went in unto Leah, and she conceived, and bore him a third son, and he called his name Levi, in the new moon of the first month, in the sixth year of this week. And again Yaakov went in unto her, and she conceived, and bore him a fourth son, and he called his name Yahuda on the fifteenth of the third month, in the first year of the fourth week. And on account of all this, Rachel envied Leah, for she did not bear. And she said to Yaakov, Give me children. And Yaakov said, Have I withheld from you the fruits of your womb? Have I forsaken you? And when Rachel saw that Leah had borne four sons to Yaakov, Reuven and Shimon and Levi and Yahuda, she said unto him, Go in unto Bilhah, my handmaid, and she will conceive and bear a son unto me. 
And she gave him Bilhah, her handmaid, to be his woman. And he went in unto her, and she conceived, and bore him a son, and he called his name Dan. On the ninth of the sixth month, in the sixth year of the third week, and Yaakov went in again unto Bilhah a second time, and she conceived, and bore Yaakov another son. And Rachel called his name Naphtali on the fifth of the seventh month, in the second year of the fourth week. And when Leah saw that she had become sterile and did not bear, she envied Rachel. She also gave her handmaid Zilpah to Yaakov, to be his woman. And she conceived and bore a son, and Leah called his name Gad on the twelfth of the eighth month, in the third year of the fourth week. And he went in again unto her, and she conceived, and bore him a second son. And Leah called his name Asher on the second of the eleventh month, in the fifth year of the fourth week. And Yaakov went in unto Leah, and she conceived, and bore a son, and she called his name Yishikar, on the fourth of the fifth month, in the fourth year of the fourth week, and she gave him to a nurse. And Yaakov went in again unto her, and she conceived, and bore two children, a son and a daughter, and she called the name of the son Zevelan, and the name of the daughter Dinah, in the seventh of the seventh month, in the sixth year of the fourth week. And Yahuwah was gracious to Rachel, and opened her womb, and she conceived and bore a son. And she called his name Yosef on the new moon of the fourth month, in the sixth year in this fourth week. And in the days when Yosef was born, Yaakov said to Levan, Give me my women and sons, and let me go to my father Yitzhak, and let me make me a house. For I have completed the years in which I have served you for your two daughters, and I will go to the house of my father. And Levan said to Yaakov, Tarry with me for your wages, and pasture my flocks for me again, and take your wages. And they agreed with one another that he should give him as his wages those of the lambs and kids which were born black and spotted and white. These were to be his wages. And all the sheep brought forth spotted and speckled and black, variously marked, and they brought forth again lambs like themselves, and all that were spotted were Yaakov's, and those which were not were Levan's. And Yaakov's possessions multiplied exceedingly, and he possessed oxen and sheep and asses and camels and men servants and maid servants. And Levan and his sons envied Yaakov. And Levan took back his sheep from him, and he observed him with evil intent.